Now at times, uh, let's say I create another class uh, named as test case three. Now in this, uh, I have the same two tests. Uh, one is user registration and one is login. I'm just gonna copy it from here. And what happens if I run this, first user registration will be executed and then the login will be executed, right? So maybe it, it may happen that while uh, registering a user, the submit button was missing. So this test got failed, as a dot fail. Uh, let's say user not registered successfully. Now what happens is, uh, if I run this now, run as test ng test, you're gonna see that user registration was not successful in the report if you see user registration was not successful but login was successful right how come login is successful if user is not registered how can we log in with that user so it means that this do login is dependent on this do user registration test right so there's something called as dependencies. If you look over here, there, there's a huge documentation of test ng, right? Test ng is a huge world, right? So there's something called as dependencies. So dependencies with annotations, something like depend on methods. So I need to write depends on methods. So a test can be dependent on one single method or more than one method as well. As in, uh, there is only one method I want this test to be dependent on, I can simply give the method as over here, right? If there are more test cases over here, let's say I create a, another test, public void, let's say third test, I could give any name to this test, right? And I'll say executing third test, this is at the rate test with priority equal to three, and I'll add one more test, that is test four. This is fourth test, and priority equal to four, executing fourth test, right? So what happens if I run this thing now, you're gonna see that if there is no failure, if I'll comment out this part, if there is no failure, all four tests should work fine. So all tests are working fine. One, two, three, four, everything executed. But if there is a failure over here, and if I run this thing now, whichever test is dependent, that will get skipped. So see, this do login was dependent on do user registration. So as soon as the do user registration failed, this got skipped. So we have it in inside our skip test cases and rest other got successfully executed because they were not dependent. If do login is dependent on other test as well, so we can make an array like this and we can make it dependent on other test. So let's say on third test as well. So this is how we'll be creating multiple uh, method dependencies, right? So right now it is just dependent on do user registration. So we're gonna do it like this way only. Now at times it may happen that let's say rest all tests are also dependent on the first test. Right. And if I run this thing now, if the first one is failing, you're gonna see all, all will get skipped, right? But it may happen that I don't want to skip the third test, although it is dependent, but I don't want to skip it. I want rest all should skip, but they should not skip, right? So if you look over here, there's something called a soft dependency. It says that the test will always run after the method you depend on, right? Even if uh, some of them have failed, right? Even if the dependent are failed, uh, this will always run. And this is useful when you just want to make sure that the test method are run in a certain order, but their success does not really depend on the success of others, right? So this should be an independent method. So Although, although it is dependent on the other method, but it will always gonna run, right? So how you can achieve soft dependency? Just by adding this thing. Always run equal to true. So no matter whether it is dependent or not, you can still run in a same priority by saying always run equal to true. So if I 
run this thing now, you're going to see that uh, over here, the third test is executed, right? So this is what always run equal to true. If your test has a flag always run equal to true, this will always going to run, even if the dependent methods are failed or not, right? So this is what all about uh, dependencies and uh, always run equal to true condition. All right. Thank you.